I know guys, it's been two months, but I'm back. And today we're going to test the AMD Radeon RX 7600. And the bad news I have here is that I can't retest it into RX 8750 because I gave that away to my brother. And it's going to be too much work taking it out of his PC and putting it into the external graphics card or the enclosure that I have. But um, I am gonna compare it to the last time I tested the Intel Arc A750. So um, it's, I'm telling you, bro, it's gonna be way better. But somehow the time slot performance on the um Radeon RX 7600 performed worse than the Intel Arc, but it doesn't really matter because it matters about how the games perform. Because you guys can mostly pay play games on here. But anyways, let's move on to the first game we're gonna try. All right, so the first game we're trying is um Forza Horizon 5. And as you can see, the FPS is really good. 70, sometimes it touches 80, but this is almost twice the performance as the Intel Arc. I'll show a video of it comparing it against the Intel Arc. And as you can see, it's really good. The RX is doing really good comparing it to the Arc, almost twice the performance. But according to Time Spy, it did show that the Intel Arc was doing better. But like I don't know the drivers is not the drivers is not yet optimized for games are perfectly optimized for games probably it is I don't know I didn't retest it but like yeah that's what I believe before we move on I'm gonna show the benchmarks right here high settings you know ray trace medium the same settings that you try into arc and performing twice the performance right now. All right, so next game we're trying is Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. We're just gonna play mini BR duels because there's no souls in the game right now. So stay tuned. Anyways, here goes Warzone 2.0 in the pregame lobby. The FPS is between 70 and 80 FPS. It sometimes goes above 80, but like, I don't know what's wrong with this game, but like, I don't know if the battle on that performs better. But right now I'm playing the Steam version and it, it always hovers around 80 frames until I want in, inside the game. This is but this is the pre-game, so yeah. But anyways, this is funny because this is the performance I wanted on the Intel Arc when they got the drivers updates, but it was never there. It's kind of funny. Anyways, I'm gonna compare it once the playing scene comes. All right, so the left is the RX and the right is the Intel Arc. All right, as you can see by the scene, the Intel Arc is really struggling by 40 FPS. The RX is getting all the way up to 100 FPS. Almost twice the difference. Same, similar thing that we see with Forza, but this game has a way bigger jump for some reason. Intel gotta work in the drivers on the, as an eGPU, you know? You gotta work on it still. But as I said, I didn't retest it, so probably they did fix it. But let's go into gameplay, you know. You know, um, the performance is basically the same as it was in the pregame lobby. Like between, as I like I said, 70 to, to 80 FPS, it barely goes above, and the performance so is so good that I actually got some kills. Look at that kill. And it's also so good that I actually got a win during this game, as you can see. I don't really know how my team left the game. I kind of won the game solo. I didn't want to leave the game, but like I saw a little bit of people left, and I just won. I'm proud of myself. Went in the game just for testing out a GPU. Imagine. Anyway, let's move to the next game. I forgot to tell you, this is medium settings Warzone. Just medium. Nothing surprising. It could handle high, but I picked medium to compare it to Intel Arc. All right, next game we're trying is Fortnite. I had to test this game three times because how much it surprised me. You know. A very big improvement on the Intel Arc. So like the first test I did is the same settings as I did on the um Arc, you know, the same exact settings. Then I try all epic, just basically all epic, nothing else. Then I try all epic plus uh nanite geometry, whatever it's called, I don't know what's it called. But like you know that setting is for the forty the forty eighty and forty ninety, you know. It really brings on the frames if you have that setting on. So I like, let me try on this. Let's see how much frames it get. And it, I'm telling you, it surprised me. Keep in mind, I have TSR on balance, so probably that's why it's good. Okay, so first things first, you gotta compare them. As you can see, the Intel Arc is struggling at a 40 FPS in the air. When you land, it'll go higher, but like it's very unstable once you look in certain areas. But as you can see, the RX. It gets a stable FPS 120 plus. Like that's a lot more FPS than the Arc. So, I just wanted to raise them. 
and as you can see with the arc you can't really raise them with that bad fps so i will show you how how the rx performs once you raise the graphics all right so here goes all epic uh it's pretty much similar fps it's not it goes to 130 as you just saw right there mostly it hovers around 110 uh it's kind of less like it's, it's not as you can see it's not like 120 plus it sometimes goes under 100 but the fortnite looks really pretty as you can see the lighting their shadows and stuff see the windows had the lighting on them the chest have lighting the reason i'm saying this because i don't really play fortnite like this i don't bro i'm just i'm i'm just saying how good good the game looks but let's turn on geometry nanite and see what happens all right here we go trying geometry nanite as you can see it went down to 40 but we'll go back up but as you can see the frames i just lost like like not even 30 like yeah i lost like 30 of my frames just because i turned on geometry nanite people don't really play like this but yeah this is basically anto arc performance all over again as you can see i could play like this but like i would rather play all epic just because i want to see my spoof frames 130 120 up you know it's not 120 up like i'll get one like 110 up you know but this is how fortnite performs this this really surprised me but i wouldn't play like this okay here goes gta 5 max out settings I don't want to keep repeating myself. You guys should know the rule by now. The RX is better than the ARC, but just watch this benchmark. You guys decide how big of improvement this is. Alright, as you can see, with this game, the FPS is really, really high. 200. It could go up to 300 once you go up there, but, like, it, it's really random because how high it is. Once you get, like, above, like, 200 frames, the thing will be really random. So, that's how it is. And the reason why it's really, really high because this game is designed for, like, integrated graphics. So, yeah, it's really good. I don't expect it that much, but, like, you could probably play this game on a 240Hz monitor if you, um... I had this graphics card of a uh, external graphics card but i don't really recommend it but like yeah that's how it is all right the last game we trying is cyberpunk 2077 this is i don't even know carl joker the frame rate of the into arc way better bro we're getting like 50 fps 58 well this is the city area when we exit out you see it goes higher up to like up to 70 frames sometimes go to 80 not all the time but like it goes up to 70 once you leave the city and yeah as you can see it's, it's way better bro way better anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that video a quick video of me testing out the rx radeon 7600 as an external graphics card if you go if you're going for external graphics card i highly recommend this or not nah, 4060 is trash don't get that 4060 4060 is garbage the rx is way better than that I want to say way better, but I think it's way better. And the Arc, I don't know. I didn't test out the new drivers yet, but like, I want to go for that either. But like, so the highest option, if you want a, a good external graphics card, is to get the, I said the highest option. The best option to get is the RX 7600. You know, if you want the best uh, external graphics card, or if you want something high end, like, I don't know, 40, 40, 80 or whatever. Anyway guys, if you want me to test out this card on 1440p, 4K, or whatever, uh, just stay tuned, subscribe, and like, and peace out.